Welcome to Omron's Quick Tip Videos. Today I'll be showing you how to set up the analog option modules for the SysMac NX1P. There are three different option modules that are available. NX1W, ADB21, it's a two analog input module. NX1W, DAB21V, which is two analog outputs. And then the NX1W, MAB221, which is two analog in and two analog out. The hardware that I have today is the NX1P along with the two analog in and two analog out module. A 24 volt power supply, an ethernet switch, and some cables. I've opened up SysMac Studio and I'm going to create a new project. And I'll call this NX1P2 with analog module and I'll select my device the NX1P2 and the particular controller I have today is the 9024DT1 which is a 24 point IO unit 14 in 10 out with uh, PNP outputs I'll click create and I'll go to configuration and the controller setup and I'll go to option board setting and I'm gonna select in option board one I only have one option board available on this CPU I'm gonna select the module that I have today here are the different choices for the modules and the one that I have is the NX1W MAB221, which is two analog in and two analog out. Next, I'll verify my Ethernet IP settings. And the IP address of my PLC is 192.168.250.1. And then I'll go to my I.O. map. And the I.O. map allows you to use variables in your PLC program. So what I'm going to do is come up to my built-in I.O. and click on Create Device Variable. And I'll do the same thing for my MAB221. And I've created these variables. I'll now go up to project, rebuild controller, everything is okay and now I'm going to go to controller, communication setup and I've got a hub here and I'm going to type in my IP address 192.168.250.001 I'll check my ethernet communications it tests OK. I'll click on OK. And now I'll go online with the controller. And I will download to the controller. Click Yes. And now I can test the functionality of my analog output by going to view watch window and I'll go to watch one and I'll bring this up and I'm going to type in my analog output which is op one channel one analog output and then I'm going to add another one. Up one, channel two, analog output. And then I'll also add an analog input. So I have analog output one is going to an Omron E5DC, which monitors my voltage and 
I'm going to put in a value of 4,000 here. And 4,000 is going to give me 10 volts. If I go to 2,000, it gives me 5 volts. 3,000 will give me 7.5 volts. And I'll also do the same thing for analog output 2. I'll put in 2,000. And I have that wired to analog input 1. And you can see they're approximately the same. So 2,000 would be 5 volts, which is coming out of analog output 1 and coming into analog input 1. And that is how to set up the analog modules for the NX1P.